Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today is Monday, January 28th. Yes, I was right, January 28th. And it is day one of Freely's infamous raw till four diet. Yes, we are going to do it, you guys. I have never done raw till four, like strict, ever. <laughs> So this is going to be fun. I don't know if you guys know the rules of raw till four, but I'll put them up here so you guys can see them. But it's basically no animal products. <clears throat> Duh. Check. Easy. Hello. No big deal. Then we've got raw food until four. You want to have high calorie, high fruit meals. You don't want to be deprived. You want to drink a crap ton of water because they want you peeing clear. It's their big thing. You gotta pee clear. You gotta exercise every day. That's a big one because whenever anybody <clears throat> doesn't succeed on the raw till four diet, Jerry and Ryder is always like, they weren't doing raw till four. I can guarantee you they weren't exercising. They weren't doing exactly what I said. So <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you disagree with Jerry and Ryder. <laughs> you didn't do it right. So it says 5% of the daily calories from fat is best, but you got to keep it at least under 10. So that's basically like no added fat to pretty much everything. So as long as you do that, you'll be golden. No avocados, no nut butters, nothing like that. Okay, no fried foods, even though I've been watching some of those raw till four, what I eat in a day videos and and Ryder and Freely are smashing in some fried foods at the uh, the local restaurant. So not everybody's perfect. You just got to do what you got to do and be as best as you can be that day. So yeah, basically no sweets after dinner. I love eating sweets after dinner. Why do you take that from me? See, uh, that one I'm not pleased with. I want to be able to eat fruit whenever I want to. If I want to eat some dates after dinner, why can't I? I don't like that. I know you guys are like, oh, it's just going to like ferment in your stomach and blah, 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 blah. I'll play by your rules this week, you guys. Just this week, though. All right. Yeah, those are the rules. It's pretty basic. Eat lots of fruit and eat lots of vegetables and carbs and a salad and you're good to go. Yeah, the salad thing, salad thing's kind of annoying to me, <laughs> but I'm gonna roll with it. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it and we're gonna do it happily. Or I'm gonna try to anyway. All right, so let's get day one of Raw Till 4 started. So every Monday morning I like to do a weigh-in. So I'm 190.4 and I like to do a mirror check. That way when I look back through the weeks I can hopefully see some kind of change. We'll see. 10.53 a.m. and I am at the nail salon getting a new set put on. 11.17 and my nails are done. I am so excited not to have nails that look hideous anymore pointing at stuff for all of us. I'm super happy to have my nails back. Mm -hmm. So much nicer. Ah, love it. Thanks to my girl Jenny who takes me in and gives me nice nails in an hour or less when she has other appointments. I love it. She just squeezes me in. Thank you, Jenny. Appreciate you. 11.44 a.m. and all my smoothie dreams are coming true. I've got bananas in there, pumpkin spice, spice, pumpkin spice, spice, and dates, all the dates, seven dates, and lots of bananas, not ten bananas, because ten bananas in a smoothie makes me want to vomit. But, um, Probably at least four or five bananas, maybe. Probably more like four frozen bananas. But I put in seven dates, so there you go. It's pretty calorie dense, I'd say. Because what? 
seven dates. Dates are like, what, about 60 calories a piece. So that's, what, 420 calories worth of dates. And then, what, some bananas, 400 calories of bananas. So it's like an almost 900 calorie smoothie. A good 800 calories. That's pretty good. And this is why McDougal hates smoothies because you can drink a crap ton of calories and then you're still not, you're still hungry. You're like, okay, I had a smoothie and now I'm still hungry. Hmm. Here you are, friends. The finished smoothie. You always got to do the pour, baby. Uh-huh. You got to see that texture. Mmm. That feeling when the smoothie hits your lips, baby. Mm. Three hours later and I'm officially hungry. So I'm gonna eat these two bananas, six dates and the leftover blueberries that my child did not devour. I need to go to the store and find some more fruit for tomorrow. That is for sure. <laughs> 3.54 p.m. and I am hungry a bit again. So the joys of the fruit diet is that you're always eating. The downsides of the fruit diet is you're always eating and I'm not that fond of bananas. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm doing this the proper way. I'm giving up the coffee. So I scavenged through my cupboard and found the dandy. The coffee replacement that everybody swears by. I am going to try this out with all the sugar because Durian and Ryder and Freely love sugar. All right, I scavenged through my cupboards while I was looking for the dandy blend. I found these, the flippin' Thai honey mangoes. These ones are the best because they're literally covered in sugar. And it's game on, baby. Take me down to Sugar Town because it's okay. Uh, oh yeah, Raw Tell 4, you're treating me right right now. I am enjoying it and I'm making sure that my kids aren't coming because they'll ask me for them and I don't want to share. So I'm going to eat as fast as possible. 4.03 p.m. and it's going down, you guys. I am going to give this a shot. I thought I would speed it up and let you guys see what it looks like because I always like to see what everybody's stuff looks like even if it's in super rapid mode <laughs> just to make things quicker. Here we go we're gonna try it we're gonna see how I like it I've only had it once before and that was at a restaurant and they made it as like a dandy latte and it was good but this is actually pretty good I think I'm gonna make it through you guys. 5 18 p.m. and it's a dandy update. <laughs> I have been drinking this bad boy for the past hour and I have to say I'm impressed. I put enough, I put in the same amount of sugar that I put in my coffees and I'm, I'm getting the same enjoyment out of my dandy. So any of you caffeine addicts out there, give it a try. You might like it. All I know is I've been sipping on this bad boy for the past hour and it is keeping me happy and not feeling like I'm gonna kill somebody because I'm hungry. That's always a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, give it a try, people. What do you got to lose? Hmm? Give it a shot. I'm gonna continue drinking this and then I gotta go make a salad because um, it's time to eat. It's like 5.30. I'm gonna make a salad and then I'm gonna make some other stuff. What else am I gonna eat? So I have to eat a salad and it can't have any fat on it. So I thought to myself, what am I gonna do? So thankfully they love sugar, maple syrup to the rescue. So I made like a maple, lemon, mustard, dill dressing with pepper and spices is so good. And so simple. Who doesn't like a dressing you can just whip up with a fork? Come on. No blender required and you're eating and it's tasty. I was super actually satisfied. I have finally found a low fat dressing that I can deal with because of all the spices. If you can't have fat, put spices on all the spices. It's not really a salad if you don't put some tomato on cucumber on it, am I right? 
Anybody else always love the tomato and cucumber in any of your salads? I am definitely a big fan. 6.38 p.m. and the eating festival that is Raw Tell 4 continues, friends, with this high carb, low fat, all the veggie soup that my mom made. I think she put some rice in there too. Potatoes, zucchini. I put in cayenne and we're good to go. I'm feeling pretty full after the soup and the salad, I gotta tell you, but I know that I'm not gonna last until I go to bed on just the soup and the salad. So I have these mushrooms, zucchini, and pepper. I had the mushrooms marinating in a low-fat peanut sauce all night since yesterday. And so I'm just cooking it up now with the sauce and I'm gonna put it on top of rice. Low-fat, low-sodium, so good. It's not a huge bowl of rice and vegetables, but it's big enough considering I had all the rest of that food beforehand. I'm not a volume eater, so this is literally smashing in the food for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today and seeing what I ate on my very first day as a Rotel 4 vegan. Oh my gosh, I can you believe that this is like my first day of full compliance to the Raw Till 4 lifestyle? Pats on the back for me. Do I get a vegan level up? Mm hmm. I think so. Do I get a new badge, a new vegan merit badge? I think I deserve one. All right, I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day and you come see what I eat tomorrow on my next video.